Ladies and gentlemen, depending on the time you're watching this, gentlemen and ladies, it's morning for me. It may be evening, afternoon, or midnight for you, ladies and gents. I want to take the time to express some things. Is that okay? Of course it is. Well, what I am doing is it's four o'clock in the morning and I'm just getting in. I knock on the door, knock, 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 and a voice sweet and low says, who is it? I'm sorry. And, and she opened up the door and let me in. And then she said, mother, where you been? And I said, hey, 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 what you doing all that for? See, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. It's a thin line between love and, that's what she was saying. I apologize in the background, a little audio music. It's a live wallpaper piece of junk that I'm using for my computer. And what I'm doing on my app, my phablet, I have the ability of putting some live wallpaper and so I got this new uh, program that I'm about to send to the uninstall because I don't like the commercial things they put on apps so that's the junk that was going on in the background all right let's go ahead and explain something seven days a week pretty much 17 hours and as I told someone yesterday, because the drivers who take me to medical, they talk. And me, that man can talk! And they, oh, and he's a thinker! Of course I'm a thinker. Because we talk, they, they get a free consult every single ride. They want to talk about something? I'm going to talk about it. But a couple of times I've been asleep because I can't even take the ride without falling asleep. At least three times in the last four weeks, I've actually fallen asleep. Twice in the middle of a conversation because I'm that exhausted. Whew. Lordy be. So I got something I need to show y'all. I was having a consult with somebody and we created this document. It's not complete. I was just, because I don't do documents for people. But we created this document. Let me show y'all something, okay? So y'all get it. Because many of you guys are not understanding tax credit. So what I'm going to do, pay attention. Uh-oh, can't do it that way. That ain't going to work. Lordy B, that ain't gonna work. We gotta go here. So, nope, gotta go here. So that we can click here. And then I can double click. That's what I'm looking for, Chief. And we're gonna copy. Because I'm gonna let you hear what it says. Now, I want you to understand this. Had this individual not asked this in the consult... I never would have gone into these details. Now, this is my understanding. This is not no chatbot giving me the understanding. This is me putting the information in the system and it basically taking what I'm saying and put it in a format that is understandable. Okay, hold on one second. Be right back. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you the understanding so that you get it. I've been calling these things tax credits. You've heard me call them tax credits. And if you had ever known me prior to 1994, I've always referred to them as tax credits. This has been my understanding without reading any books or anything. Now, mind you, I told people I've been talking about wanting to understand how these billionaires were remaining billionaires after they lose so much money. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's quite simple. They're writing everything off. They're using the tax code. You guys should be using the tax code as well. Well, the tax code, and you all need to pay attention. If you have tax credits, you need to pay attention. When you use the tax code, ladies and gentlemen, you're understanding how the taxes are done. 
deductions. If you're writing something off, pay attention. According to the IRC, you don't have the right to carry it forward. You can only claim that deduction the year in which the tax became available. The IRS says that in IRS tax topic 453. But notice what else they're saying. That's what this is going to talk about. The code only recognizes tax credits as those that are carried forward. There is no tax credit for a carry forward deduction because deductions are not carry forwardable. You're not carry forwardable? Did you just make that word up? Yes, carry forward. So they're not carry forwardable. You can't carry a deduction forward. Oh, but there has been an exception made. You mean the, uh, the, 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 the Congress went back and they changed the Internal Revenue Code called the IRC? No. No, Congress ain't changed nothing. The IRS did. Uh, the IRS can't change the law. Oh, no, no, no. They came up with the Administrative Procedures Act that allows administrative organizations to create rules and to interpret the law. And when administrative organizations create their interim rules and interpret the law, the courts have deferred to their interpretation. Excuse me? That's right. They say that these agencies, these organizations they create, can create their own interpretation of the law, and that becomes the law. No, they can't do that. Oh, yeah, they they, they say they did it when they made the Administrative Procedures Act. So, I want you all to pay attention to the interpretation of tax credits and not don't focus on deductions and or credits because they're the same. Watch and see. Now, this hasn't been uh proofread this is raw raw like eddie murphy yeah like eddie murphy hold on y'all national taxation taxation by operation of statute notice of assignment of tax credit the internal revenue irc only allows for tax credits and not carry forward deductions However, However, the Internal, the Internal Revenue, Revenue Service, Service IRS, has made an exception, made an exception under, the under the provisions of the APA, APA to a ruling or regulation implementation, which permits and or allows them to receive carry forward deductions. The APA, the APA to a ruling or regulation implementation was issued in response to the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, ERI, which created a number of new tax credits and deductions. The APA, the APA term term ruling or regulation, regulation implementation provides that taxpayers may carry forward any unused ERI tax credits and deductions for up to five years. The IRC, the IRC does not specifically mention carry forward deductions. However, however, the IRC does allow for carry forward tax credits. The IRS, the IRS has interpreted, interpreted this to mean that carry forward deductions are also allowed for uniformity purposes. An individual, An individual can assign their carry forward credits to other partners, corporations, corporations or individuals involved in a contractual relationship. To do this, to do this the individual and the corporation should produce the form, form assignment, assignment of tax credit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> The IRS is an administrative agency, and under the APA, they're allowed to make these things known as interim rules. And anybody under their jurisdiction must follow those rules. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's called promulgation of rules. And because they get to promulgate a rule, it becomes technically the law. Really? That's the United States. That's what we're under right now. Now, pay attention. When they put together their own rule, the IRS says, hey, uh, well, yeah, they, they got we got carry forward tax credits for taxpayers. Yeah, but we're going to hold on. We're going to make deductions the same as credits. What? See, the IRC does not specifically mention carry forward deductions however the irc does allow for carry forward credits and the irs has interpreted this to mean that carry forward deductions are also allowed for uniformity purposes that's the point ladies and gentlemen so you can carry forward a deduction and it's counted as a credit uh-oh there's a lot of technicalities here because if you can get a refund for a credit Remember, their uniformity. The IRS doesn't get to change the rules. The IRC allows for refunds on credits. And since, for uniformity purposes, a deduction is called a credit, do you all see? Now, nobody told this to me. 
I just understood that if the IRS made a rule, <laughs> the law wasn't changed. And since the law, the so-called code, IRC, recognizes a carry forward credit and not a carry forward deduction, and they made an interim rule saying, hey, for uniformity purposes, they're one and the same then a deduction carry forward is a credit. So calling them tax credits is accurate. That's what this information is for. Are you going to put that up? No, I'm not. You better be typing this down and copying it. This is what you tell your tax agents. I, I, it's not my job. I told you I'm not the tax guy. I just understand this stuff. Okay? I, I've understood this since the 90s. Nobody taught it to me. I didn't sit down with nobody and they taught this to me. That means you should know the same stuff. Now, mind you, I didn't know all the codes. I just knew the understanding. So I told the chat bot, hey, this is what it is. And it argued with me at first. Then it, no, okay, fine. This is what it is. Okay, so let's continue, shall we? There are a number of case studies that support the contention of the allows for carry forward deductions. In one case, in one case a, taxpayer a taxpayer was able, was able to carry forward abduction for research and development expenses. In another case, in another case a, taxpayer a taxpayer was able to carry forward abduction for low-income housing expenses. Wait a minute. They got cases where taxpayers are allowed to carry forward deduction for research and development? You mean all the people who are involved in the trading, spot trading, if they did it for their business? When we're having our meetings and everything, they can document that as research and development expenses. Who? And then if 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 if, if, if the bank says I owe them money and I have to do all that research trying to figure out how to save my home, I can count that as research and development. I can write that junk off too. Oh, snap! Sorry, he gets so excited. I'm so excited. So you guys will have to just I just can't hide it. Uh, bear with them, okay? It's five o'clock in the morning, almost. So this is the way he is in the morning, y'all. Just imagine what I have to go through with him. Hold on. In both cases, in both cases the IRS, IRS ruled, ruled that the deductions were allowed under the APA term term rule and regulation implementation. implementation. The, IRS the IRS allows for carry forward deductions in the case of CCA 2 0 the IRS ruled that a taxpayer was allowed to carry forward deduction for research and development expenses. The taxpayer, the taxpayer had incurred the expenses in 2009 and 2010 and was unable to use them fully in those years due to a net operating loss. The IRS ruled that the taxpayer could carry forward the unused deductions for up to five years. In the case of CCA 2 0 the IRS ruled that a taxpayer was allowed to carry forward a deduction for low-income housing expenses. The taxpayer, the taxpayer had incurred the expenses in 2009 and 2010 and was unable to use them fully in those years due to a net operating loss. The IRS ruled that the taxpayer could carry forward the unused deductions for up to five years. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Let me make sure you understand because it didn't explain this. The reason why the taxpayers in both cases were unable to use the so-called tax deduction due to net operating losses was because their net operating losses were so substantial that they had remainders or leftovers or residuals and thus they carried them forward and somebody questioned the carry forward of their deductions the irs says they can do that hold on in the case, in the of, CCA case of CCA 2, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, the IRS ruled that a taxpayer was, was allowed to carry forward a deduction for qualified energy efficient property. property. The taxpayer, the taxpayer had incurred the expenses in 2009 and 2010 and was unable to use them fully in those years due to a net operating loss. The IRS ruled that the taxpayer could carry forward the unused deductions for up to five years. In the, case in the case of CCA 2, 2 0, 1, 1, 0, 5, 0, 1, 7, the IRS ruled that a taxpayer was allowed to carry Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Y'all not able to see it, and I'm just noticing it for the first time. This is 14, 50, 14, 50, 15, 50, 16, 50, 17, 50, 18. They handled all these cases at the exact same time, one right after the other. That's why it's 2009, 2010, every single one of them. I didn't notice this at first because I didn't read it the first time. Hold on, we're going to continue. Deduction for, deduction qualified, for qualified small business, business investment, investment company, company QSBIC, QSBIC, stock. 
The tax the paid, tax paid had incurred the expenses in 2009 and 2010 and was unable to use them fully in those years due to a net operating loss. The IRS ruled that the tax payer could carry forward the unused deductions for up to five years. In the case of CCA 2-0-1-1-0-5-0-1-8, the IRS ruled that a tax payer was allowed to carry forward a deduction for qualified zone academy bonds, QZABS. The tax payer had incurred the expenses in 2009 and 2010 and was unable to use them fully in those years due to a net operating loss. The IRS ruled that the tax payer could carry forward the unused deductions for up to five years. These are, just These are just a few examples, examples of the many cases in which the IRS, which the IRS has allowed taxpayers to carry forward deductions. If you have unused, you have unused deductions, deductions, you should consult with a tax advisor to see if you are eligible to carry them forward. The IRS has made several rules allowing for the carry forward of deductions, and since the IRC does not have a provision for such rule, the carry forward deduction is construed under the IRC as a carry forward tax credit. The portion, of the, the portion of the code that speaks directly to the carry forward of tax credits and not deductions is IRC section 38, which provides for the general business credit. Section 38C allows for the carry forward of unused credits for up to 20 years. The IRS has interpreted this provision to mean that carry forward deductions are also allowed for uniformity purposes. This interpretation, this interpretation is, supported is supported by the fact that the IRC, that the IRC does not specifically prohibit, prohibit the carry forward of deductions. In addition, In addition the, IRS the IRS has issued a number of rulings and regulations that specifically allow for the carry forward of deductions. For example, For example the IRS hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. Y'all, I just need y'all to understand something. We're going to stop it right now. We're going to start right here. Because y'all need to understand something. Because it's very important. Did you see this part right here? The IRC, the Internal Revenue Code, does not specifically prohibit the carry forwarding of deductions. It was a restriction presumed by the IRS for many decades. Then all of a sudden, they like, oh, well, it doesn't because there was some lawyer who understood things similar to my understanding. And all of a sudden, it changed, y'all. It changed. Let's see. For example, For example, the IRS the has IRS ruled that taxpayers may carry forward unused deductions, unused deductions for research and development expenses, expenses low-income low housing, income housing expenses, expenses, and qualified, and qualified energy, energy efficient, property. efficient property. Wait, hold on. If I get the, if they get to carry it for, for all of these, then I get to carry for my deduction for other things because equal protection of law says you can't just uh, that, that single them out and make it easy for them. You got to make it easy for everybody. Me too. Because uh, it's equal protection, so I get to be protected by the law. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to let it continue now. The IRS, the IRS interpretation, interpretation of IRC section 38, section 38 has been upheld, upheld by the courts. By the courts. In, the case in the case of Commissioner V, Idaho Power, Power Company, the Supreme, the Supreme Court, Court held that the IRS was authorized, was authorized to allow for the carry forward of deductions. As a result, As a result of the IRS's interpretation, interpretation in the court's ruling, tax taxpayers are now allowed, are now allowed to carry forward, forward both tax credits, credits and deductions. This can be a, this can be a valuable tax planning tool, tool as, it as it can allow taxpayers to reduce their tax liability over time. Uh-oh. Oh, snap. Now everybody's going to know this because nobody knew this. Not even the tax preparers. The tax preparers were telling people, oh, no, y'all can't do that. That's not allowed. Stupid crackheads. Ladies and gentlemen, I do this for a living. So during the consult, this is the conversation we had. And I produced this for the individual because they had a specific question dealing with tax credits and what to do with them. And so this was the conversation we had. I told him if he had not asked that specific question, I never would have talked about it. Because if you notice, I've talked about this. I just haven't gone into this detail because I need the questions to be asked. So he asked it during the consult. And I told him when he told me that he had that as a question, I said, you know what? We need to talk. I said, and please understand, this consult's going to be a little lengthy. And it went over two hours. Why? Because we were talking about something I was interested in. And we were also talking about something I had not talked about, and I was more than happy to talk with him about this. Hold on, we got to talk about this case right here so that you guys understand what dollar for dollar means, because tax credits are dollar for dollar. Understand the term. Well, it's tax, it's dollar for dollar uh, for the reduction of, no, we don't care what it's for, it's still dollar for dollar. Dollar for dollar means dollar for dollar, people. Has nothing to do with a reduction. It means that they're equivalent to dollars. 
Hold on, watch this. Tax credits are dollar for dollar for dollar. Commissioner, Commissioner, I found power company. 418 US. 1974. General Dynamics Corporation. Commission, Commission, 486 US. 236. 1988. Sylvania Electric Products Incorporated. V. Commission, 433 US. 430. 1977. Welsh V. Helvering, 302 US. 112. 1930. Helvering V. Broom, 309 US. 461. 1940. The phrase dollar for dollar means that one thing is equal to another in terms of value. It can be used to describe a financial transaction, such as a matching grant, or it can be used to describe a more general comparison. For example, you might say that two companies are competing dollar for dollar for market share. Ladies and gentlemen, it really is that simple. When you understand what's going on in the background many of you oh I the taxes are just too complicated no they're not complicated at all you just have to read it logically you have to interpret it the same way the IRS do technically because that's all they did is got technical well I don't get technical all I get is wait a minute there's no such thing as a carry forward deduction that's a lie the tax code never said you can't carry forward a deduction. And some lawyer realized that very same thing. I told you, I realized this when I was in my early, what, 19, uh, 18, 19 years old. I'd already understood this. I told you, I, I was fascinated how these individuals could file for bankruptcy and still remain billionaires. Like the, 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 the Donald. Well, it was his corporation. If it doesn't, I don't give up what made it. Look. Whew. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, because of that, I set out on a quest to understand the reasoning. This wasn't spelled out in any court case, but I could see it by listening to the arguments. And by listening to the arguments, that's all she wrote. Okay? I could understand it. And now that I could understand it, woo wee, we could move on. Okay? Keep on moving. Don't stop till the hands of time. Okay? So we just gonna keep on moving, y'all. Because we're gonna ask the question, why do people choose to live their lives? this way keep on moving don't stop no keep on moving that's where we're going all right ladies and gentlemen i gotta go the problem is many of the people who are going to watch this video are not going to understand it because they're not going to be able to see it so if you want to understand something about yourself whether or not you are capable of understanding capable of intelligence then do yourself a favor go over this video and see if you get it the first time ah but if you have to go over the second time to see if you really get it whoo wee but if you go over the third time then you're gonna get it I mean you are going to get it so once you get this ladies and gentlemen you have no idea you'll be writing off all of your debt from this point forward because that's what the IRC was put in place for. They were preparing for 1933. Remember, the IRC came about and then you had that wonderful piece of junk known as the Federal Reserve Act. It was a plan. And then you had the Trading with the Enemy Act. It was a plan. Then you had the amendment to the Trading with the Enemy Act. It was a plan. These were not haphazard so-called statutes, ladies and gentlemen. This was all planned to bring us to the point that we are now. Just imagine if you had known this years ago. Gotta go, y'all. Y'all take care, okay? I'm out.